Hello and welcome to the fifth and final day of London Fashion Week. I'm Stephanie Ragcraft jones and right now we are in the BSC show space waiting for Awake to start with fashion television. So we have just seen the Awake show and I'm joined by... Arian. And Arian, tell me what did you think to the show? Uh, I love the collection. I've, I'm, it's the first time that I've seen um, the showcase for the designer, particularly, um, but it didn't disappoint. I loved everything because, in a sense, like it still embodied that femininity without being overly sensual. It just had a lot of oversized pieces that I'm super into at the moment. And the shoes, I die for the shoes. I die for the shoes. Like I feel like they would be comfortable, but then at the same time be really hard to walk in because I'm have just looking at them and admiring them, it looked like it's a really thick block heel. So it'd be a bit difficult to walk in, but I'm pretty sure if the models can do it, so can an average person. I love that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm currently at the Awake show and I've just spotted this absolutely gorgeous girl sat on the front row in this lovely minty green and yes. I, I, I had to come it. and talk to you. Thank What's your you. name? Marion. Marion, what are you doing at the show today? Um, well, I, you know, a, a couple of friends of mine um, asked if I was interested in coming for the show. I'm a huge fan of the brand. I've been, you know, I'm wearing a piece from Awake today and I've just been watching them. I think they're their collections are you know just getting stronger and stronger each time so I'm really excited to see what they have in store today and you just mentioned that you're from Malaysia did you fly from Malaysia to come to London Fashion Week uh, yes I did I mean I'm here a lot in London um, I do come here a lot with my family as well so it was a reason to kind of just take a little break away from the kids and also of course to attend London Fashion Week you look way too glamorous to be having children. <laughs> Thank you. I take that as a compliment. But no. Yo, it's amazing. You look stunning. Oh, thanks. No, it's really fun to just, you know, every now and then get dressed up and feel just really good about yourself. And then I go back tomorrow and I'm back in my jeans and, you know, T-shirts and on my mom school duty. runs. My mom jeans and doing my school runs. So it's just nice to have, you know, a little bit of fun every now and then. And uh, how long does it take for you to get ready today to come to the show? Uh, okay, honestly, my makeup takes about five to ten minutes max all the time because I, I am so boring when it comes to makeup. Same color, same lipstick, uh, but my hair took a little while and I actually had someone do it for me because I own a hair salon back in Malaysia. So my guy's here with me. I know I'm very spoiled. So, so he's come to pamper you and help you. Exactly. Yes. Well, you look incredible and I hope you enjoy the show. I will for sure. Awake show and I'm joined by Lisa N from the Netherlands. So you came all the way from the Netherlands to here today? Yeah, it's not that far, is it? But I did, yeah. That is far for fashion. It, you think so? so? Well, to travel to another country to come yeah. to a runway show, that's effort. I did put a bit of an effort, yeah. But uh, it's definitely worth it to be here, yeah. And tell me why, out of all the shows in London Fashion Week, you're at the Awake show today? Um. Not sure if I have a perfect answer to that because um, I'm just quite curious about loads of shows. Uh, but I've seen the latest collection and I was quite blown away by it. So I really wanted to see it in real life because I wasn't here uh, last season. Um, so that's it, I think. Yeah. And what have you chosen to wear at Fashion Week? Because you, you're sat here on the front row looking super glam. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm quite casual today though. But I love these brands that I'm wearing. My coat is from uh, Another Stories. I think that's one of my uh, favorite um, uh, high street fashion brands at the moment. Um, and for the rest, do you want some brands or what? No, it's like, so you're wearing Adidas. Yeah. So you've got, a, you've got like a bit of a, sp a sports looks going on because you've got a, a nice like jacket on with a sporty feel underneath. Yeah. yeah, I do like sportswear. Yeah, and I like to wear it in a smart, a bit of a smarter way. But um, I love sportswear. I love fashion to be comfortable. 
yeah, I, I couldn't really suffer. Well, I think you look amazing. Thank you, that's sweet. Thank you very much. It's starting to get really busy, and I spotted you sat on the front row, and I wanted to come and say hello. What's your name? My name is Dido. And Dido, where are you from? Because that's an accent. Uh, I'm from Amsterdam. You're from oh, Amsterdam. Yes. And what have you what have you come all the way to London for today? Uh, today, well, I really love the Awake uh, show. I think, I hope, but I love the brand and. Uh, yeah, last season was really cool with the shapes and I love the big buttons and uh, so I'm really excited what they do now. Like good attention to detail. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, and the uh, big shapes and um, the color is also really cool. And what are you hoping to see for spring summer? Because autumn winter often has like, you know, a bit of a muted down palette, it's more darker. Spring summer is normally more bright, isn't it? So yeah. do you like rocking bright colors? But it's actually not like that anymore because uh, in the actually almost all the winter collections are also quite you see bright. It pop. You see a yeah, pop of color. Exactly, and I really love that. And I never wear all black, so I'm into color. Yeah, that's good. A good that's a sign of a good fashion person. Because yeah. some people, some people like I only wear black. A lot of fashion people do wear black, yeah. and they look amazing in it. But it's not for me. So well, I think you look great. Thank you so much. So we have just seen the Awake Catwalk for Spring Summer 18 and I have to say that whilst I saw some common elements that I've seen throughout the rest of this season such as oversizing, cinched in waist and variations on prints, overall I wasn't that much of a bigger fan. I personally prefer to see a lot more colour, a bit of spark. And whilst I could see that some of the pieces individually would work really well, they were quite they were quite imaginative. You needed a lot of thought to go into them to make it really work as even an editorial piece. It was quite conceptual. Um, and I've been really enjoying actually this season seeing things that are a little bit more commercial that you can take off the runway and wear on a red carpet or everyday life. So overall it was very consistent. Um, it had a lot of key trends in there but the colour palette for me really made it a bit of a miss. I'm Stephanie, you've been watching me at London Fashion Week for Fashion Television.